Fugung another piece in the jigsaw puzzle Vicar Walder. Many times, I have been puzzled by certain events, because when applying the law of cause and effect I was wondering what I or another person had done to reap this effect. When I asked a core group member about it, she explained that it has to do with Fugung, which means that some factors just come together to create an effect. In the book might have the thoughts we translated Fugung with fate and foreordination, but, as with many other German terms, it seems that the English translation is problematic and insufficient. Fate according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary means a power that is believed to control what happens in the future or the things that will happen to a person or thing the future that someone or something will have. But where or what is this power that controls what happens in the future, and how do the things that will happen, or the future that we will have, come about? For ordination according to the free dictionary means are being determined in advance. Especially the doctrine usually associated with Calvin that God has foreordained every event throughout eternity including the final salvation of mankind. As we do not believe that an imaginary God has foreordained every moment of our lives, where does it leave us with Fugung? The German Duden online describes Fugung as this fateful happening. A linking of the events behind which a divine, supernatural might stands. The linking of events is close to the real meaning of Fugung, but it is assumed that a divine or supernatural might is behind that. But as you will learn later on, this is not the case and the reader may understand why we have since chosen the translation causal for ordination for Fugung. While trying to find an answer for those puzzling happenings, I came across an article titled, Is there a universal Fugung or chance? Gibt es eine universale Fugung oder Zufall? which Billy has published in the book Teaching Text for the Teaching of the Truth, Teaching of the Spirit, Teaching of Life La Hustrift für da La Hörde Wehrheit, La Hörde des Gestes, La Hörde des Lebens. Below I will give some excerpts and summaries that might help us understand Fugung better. Fugung or causal foreordination rules the life of the human being as well as that of all creatures, and it governs the earth, the planets, stars, comets and galaxies, and it steers the entire universe. Long with the greatest and immeasurable spirit energy and power of the creation, that is to say, the universal consciousness, it Fugung is the most determining energy and power of the universe in regard to cause and effect as well as becoming and passing and so far it is unfathomable and unpredictable for the human being of earth. Fugung is not chance which is illusory anyway and does not exist rather. It is a system of creational order and principles, billions of years old, and which leads back to the coming into being of the universe. Teaching text at P. 152. Billy further explains that Fugung permeates all of the universe and has an effect on everything that exists. The Fugung is a creational principle, which gives a deeper sense meaning to all Fugung based events. It is an energy and a power of that which through a connection of facts, data, situations, happenings or events, and so forth brings about a that, is to say, puts together a quite certain result. Teaching text at P. 152 Each and every happening, each and every event always emerges because from certain rising factors new ones come about, which in turn connect with other factors and thereby result in a distinct reaction. A distinct situation, a distinct happening, a distinct event, something distinctly complete, that is to say a whole. Thus the law of cause and effect cooperates with Fugung, as does, however, also the law of becoming and passing because, so that a cause can form and then can become an effect, first a becoming and lastly the passing must occur, whereby the result of the passing forms the effect of that which has passed. However, this effect is preceded by the unavoidable Fugung, 
which comes about through forming itself, or through a conscious steering by the human being out of the cause that rose by itself or was brought about consciously. Teaching Text, page 152-153 Here are some examples in science Fugung plays a very important role. The results of experiments only come about because distinct factors come into being as causes, connect with other factors, develop further and thus achieve a result. Though the results of experiments never come about by chance. The problem though is that due to Fugung the results of experiments can sometimes be fatal, if the factors, which come together, cannot be predicted or calculated. And very often Fugung is still something unpredictable and unfathomable for the human beings on this planet. Therefore, if the result of a cause cannot be explained, we put it down to chance. However, in the whole of the universe exists no law of chance, because everything comes about in good order and through the law of Fugung. Smoking is said to cause lung cancer. But then everyone who smokes should inevitably develop lung cancer. Why is that not so? Because so many factors come together to cause lung cancer. One person may have inherited genes that make him or her predisposed to lung cancer. Another one may have a very poor diet and thus a low immune system. The next one may be overloaded with parasites that weaken the lung. Or another person may live in an area with high levels of toxins in the air. In all these cases the cigarettes may be a contributing factor, but not the single cause of lung cancer. And then, when someone who has never smoked develops lung cancer because of certain unknown factors coming together, everyone is baffled and can't figure out why this person developed lung cancer, and they call it bad luck or fate. Through knowledge we can reduce risks. Because if we can calculate the possible results of certain factors coming together, then we can prevent an illness or an experiment going wrong. But unfortunately we still lack the knowledge to recognize how things come together and create an effect. Sometimes we can calculate a risk through possibility calculations. For example, the possibility to be killed by lightning strike is very low. However, the more the population grows or the more humans come together in one place, the higher the possibility that a person is killed by lightning strike. For example, in Singapore more human beings are struck by lightning than in Melbourne because geographically Singapore is in a region that has as a greater occurrence of thunderstorm. And the population density in Singapore is 8,358 persons per square kilometre. Compared to Melbourne's population density of about 500 residents living per square kilometre. Swinging wave-based connections can also increase the possibility of factors coming together to form a similar result in two persons. For example, twins share certain genetic factors and structures, and because they grow up so close together, they often develop the same behaviours, habits, and so on which means that very similar factors come together that cause both of them to experience the same or similar effect, for example, falling ill, pain, happiness, or dying, which they can experience at the same time, even though they may be miles apart. The same applies to a couple that has lived together for many years and in whom the genes begin to form in similar ways due to the mental swinging wave between the two partners causing them to experience the same event at the same time, just as twins sometimes do. When three persons were killed by a falling wall in Melbourne in 2013, two factors came together a wall fell just at that moment when those people were near it. But I asked myself, if there is no such thing as chance, then why were the three young people hit and not any other person that had walked past the wall just moments before? I thought perhaps these young people were not meant to have a longer life, maybe they had to make up some time from a life cut short last time round, but that would mean that there would be some kind of higher power, which there is not. And to think why me and not someone else, would be just as futile, because really, we are all one. Therefore, 
three people died because an unstable wall irresponsibly had not been secured and got pushed over by a strong wind. These three persons were at the wrong place at the wrong time. If they had been further evolved spiritually, perhaps they could have avoided being caught under a ton of brick. If we knew how to calculate how things come together, or sometimes even if we observed our environment better, we could avoid being hurt in an accident. For example, some of us know that on a hot summer's day it is risky to camp under old gum trees, because they have the tendency to drop big branches when the thermometer climbs to the high 30s and early 40s. Or if we were evolved further, we would too listen our intuition and to our dreams and know that a situation could potentially harm us and we could implement preventative measure. For example, in the early 1980s I was trying to hitch a ride from Mildred to Adelaide. A truck pulled up and one of the two drivers offered me a lift. Something in me urged me to decline, and I did. After so many bad reports over the following years regarding hitchhikers, I wonder what could have happened to me if I had accepted, whether it was my subconsciousness warning me of a potential danger to my health and well-being. Another example is Billy's dream about an assassination attempt on him which prompted him to wear a book and a plate under his shirt the following day. Sure enough, somebody tried to shoot him and the bullet lodged in the book slash plate. Even our genetic makeup is subject to fugung. At the time of conception, it is not by chance how genes combine to create a new person and a new personality. Certain personality traits are inherited from the parents, whereas others come with the overall consciousness block that incarnates into the embryo on day 21 after conception. Then there are environmental influences, like the food and drinks the mother consumes, the father's health at the time of conception, and so forth. Thus all these factors, and perhaps some more that we may not know, combat to have an effect on the new person that is growing. And once the baby is born, factors like the star sign, the number of the day we were born, the environment, self-education and so forth play a role in shaping a certain personality. But the good news is that we can change certain traits that we have inherited from our parents as is explained in the might of the thoughts for example. Also, Bruce Lipton in his book The Biology of Belief describes how we can change the way our genes express themselves. Do you understand how it is not chance, a bit more on chance? Since the term chance was invented which is supposed to describe everything, that does not appear to be necessary or intended, and when the human being cannot give a reason for its unexpected occurrence three meanings have arisen from it which are the unimportant, unnecessary and unintended. Thus if chance is understood to be the unnecessary, then a so-called absolute chance it is thereby meant. In this sense, chance means that causal law has been broken and it requires the possibility of a partly free, arbitrary event. However, the law of causality is the law of cause and effect, which means that from a cause, logical processes arise which come together seamlessly and consequently become fuigung, which in turn becomes the effect. Teaching text at P. 156. This means that cause, fugung and effect cannot be separated, because they are closely connected and dependent on each other, and that there is no room for chance, because it would not be in line with the creational laws and principles. Thus we must not think only about the causality law, but rather about the causality nexus, a combination of causal things that come together. On page 157 Billy explains that, if all things and processes of life were based on chance, then the whole of the existence, all progress, all recognition and all development of the human beings as well as of the nature, the planet and even the universe would be a tremendous risk and on top of that it would be an incomparable chaos, which could not lead to evolution. All creational laws are intended for evolution and thus creation has left nothing to chance. 
The Big Bang did not happen by chance, neither has anything happened by chance since. The problem is that we just haven't learned yet to discover the cause and the figung that led to a certain effect, and therefore we like to dismiss it as chance or chaos. Even global warming did not happen by chance. If we think about it and look at all the factors that come together, we will see that we, the human beings of this planet, are responsible for global warming because of overpopulation and the harmful gases we manufacture and use, to name only some factor. Already in 1958 Billy warned all the governments in the world about the effects that overpopulation would have on this planet, if we did not agree on a worldwide birth stop. Natural catastrophes on this planet are becoming more frequent and more severe, because when a planet is overpopulated many factors come together that destroy and exploit the natural environment which has dire consequences for us. Mistakes also do not come about by chance, because it is a universal law that we must make mistakes in order to learn. When we make a mistake, we cause a process to be put in motion through which certain factors come together fugung and which create an effect from which we can learn. Therefore, if we want to master our life better, we need to consider many factors. If we want to achieve something, we cannot just dream about it. We must also consider all possible factors that could help us reach our seal and put our secondary zile together. Putting something together means do some infusion.